He's a board game hustler, pineapple smuggler, and midnight juggler. It's the Maggie Ramble Show with your host, award-winning actress, Maggie Jenny. Sit back, relax, and be a part of the conversation as Maggie rambles with your favorite Christian actors, filmmakers, and entertainers. Who is today's special guest? Stay tuned to find out. And now, here's Maggie. Hello, hello. Welcome to Maggie Rambles with Other People. I'm your host, Maggie Jenny, and I am here to ramble with someone I think is pretty cool. But um, before we get into that, I want to thank you guys for tuning in. And I want to thank you guys for commenting and sharing this with your friends. If you love this show and you want to sponsor this show, feel free to email us at MeggieRambles at gmail.com. It's that simple. We'll chat with you. We'll figure it out. It'll be great. Um, Also, just a little friendly reminder that we do have a Roku channel and an Amazon Fire Stick channel so that you can binge all of the shows you want easily from your TV. It's awesome. It's fun. Why not? Right. Um, also, okay. I know it's, it's September, but let's start talking about our Christmas. show just a bit. Remember our show last year, we gave away a lot of fun stuff. We're doing that again this year. So make sure that you, you watch these next few episodes so that you can figure out how to enter to win things. And that way you're in the know on all of the things for when we are doing trivia, you might, might need to go back and watch some other shows if you want to want to win a little prize money, right? All right. Well, without further ado, let's bring in my friend, the star of the new rom-com Baked Up uh, Baked with Love, Jason Frederick. Hi, Jason. Ah, hey, Maggie. How you How's doing? It going? Good. Good to be here. Thanks for having me on your show. Yeah, yeah. So, Jason, you and I met on a movie last year and since then you have been super super busy so tell me about some of the things that you've done recently besides this newest one yeah it's been a really great year it's been a really busy year um i worked on a film early on uh called the mutt which is um kind of like a crime family-ish type movie Mm -hmm. um and uh, that was that was pretty exciting. I played a detective on that, so that was a lot of fun. Um, and then I um, I we finished working on the movie that you and I worked on, which was called yeah. Still Pitching. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I recently, um, as you mentioned, was working on a film called Baking Up Love, which is kind of like a romantic comedy Hallmark type movie. Um, and then recently, just filmed last week a um, a faith based film called Chasing Hope. Yes. Um, Chasing Hope, I'm very excited about. Yeah. I I know a few people on that one, and it looks very, very good, and I'm very excited about that. Not that those other ones aren't. No, you know. know Right. Exactly. (laughs) Yeah. It was a a good project. I'm really looking forward to it as well. And every single one has been completely different. Which is Um, awesome. And so, yeah. So it was a lot of fun. Very exciting year. I feel like I was transforming uh, a whole lot into different people, which is always fun. It's like, it is fun. It's like make-believe. It's like, play right? Kids it's stuff. the greatest job ever. I love it. Um, but you also, you're not just a movie star. You also are a, a husband and a dad uh, of four girls. So tell me, how do you juggle life, normal life with this life? And oh, life? where do I begin? <laughs> um, no, it's, um, you know, it's been really, really great. Um, I think as I, I got involved in this whole business a long time ago and um, didn't really have kids at that time. And uh, How do you kind of, not really have kids? You know, like, you know, like some of them are just in the process, or... They were sort of there through the process, like not quite human Form, that went a but, totally you know, like different so, direction and I thought it would yeah. go. So no, for well, my, wife was, audience. my wife was <laughs> pregnant when I worked on one of my favorite projects okay. I've ever worked on, which was The Dark Knight. And so she was pregnant and um, that was a very interesting process yeah. um, of not knowing whether she was going to have the baby and we're getting ready to film and oh you know, all of this stuff. And so 
it all worked out. But it got a little challenging just having kids, having a family uh, with everything that goes into this business and industry. It's just very like up and down and all over the place sometimes. Um, and so I took a number of years off and then just recently um, in the last couple of years kind of came back into it. But with more of a mission to do a little bit more family friendly, faith based projects, which has been fantastic because uh, the family can be involved in um, having four girls, they love the whole movie making process, every aspect of it. And so um, they're kind of a part of it this time around, which is really great. Um, yeah. Helping me read lines, do auditions, edit auditions, like all of that stuff. So it's been really cool to have them involved. And, you know, I slipped them a little bit of cash here and there. So. <laughs> you know, just taking the ice cream every now and then. It's fine. Yeah, why not? It's perfect. So your eight, what ages are your girls? Uh, let's see. The youngest is nine and the oldest is 14. And then we've got two in between. <laughs> and they, they're the footnotes, apparently. Yeah. The whole middle child gets left out. It's real. So nine, 11, 12, 14. <laughs> the actual age. Oh, gosh. Or something like that. Yeah. You know, like there's their children. I don't know. But yeah. So, so yeah, you, you are working this you've you got your family life which is awesome your yeah. wife just completed was it a gladiator thing yeah so it was called the spartan race which is kind of like um a 5k with like american ninja warrior type obstacles and i think i think there were 20 obstacles but yeah she was a beast that's so, crazy to me yeah like 5k is not fun in and of itself and then it's like you know what we yeah. should do we should make it more. Let's challenging. throw a couple of mud pits in here with some monkey bars. You'll just be filthy. And swinging rings and running, climbing walls. Perfect. Why not? Yeah, and like doing monkey bars because that's what you yeah. want to do. Yeah. In, after you, you run through out of a mud, mud pit, pit. Yeah, you're not right. slippery. <laughs> yeah. No, it was, what is it was that? Really cool. So with that, I mean, like, are you training with her? Are you are you helping her do that at all? Or you're just kind of like, see you later. <laughs> I'm gonna be on the couch eating Cheetos. <laughs> like... Yes. <laughs> Next question. No. Yeah. So um, yeah, a, a little bit. Like we ran together in in training for it. Um, she's actually growing up was a gymnast, like did gymnastics, all of that stuff. So uh, when it came to obstacles like that, she just whipped through them. Like even video, you know, videoing her doing some of those obstacles, it was a little embarrassing because she's like passing up all the guys, these big, strong guys and stuff. Um, embarrassing, embarrassing for them. Awesome them for her. Yeah. So um, yeah, it was really cool. She didn't really train in that regard of doing the obstacles but mm -hmm. you know like weight training and all of that and honestly being there so just showing up um and being in the moment we're like 30 minutes before they start and it was really cool because they do like this whole speech um you know you're gladiators you're going into battle all of this stuff and so uh if you've seen the movie 300 you know they kind of reference that and um, so it was really exciting. And I literally, as I'm standing there thinking, I'm going to do this. Can I just jump in? I, I'm going to go pay my fee right now. I'm going to jump because I'm like really. Because motivated. you're like, I can do everything. They they're saying we're warriors and I'm ready to be a warrior. I know. And then I looked down, I was like, oh no, I have the wrong shoes on again. <laughs> That's probably not planned at all. But <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you know me too well. Oh my gosh. Okay. So tell me a little bit about baking up love. Tell me a little bit about the story and what we're going to see here in just a minute. Oh, the story. Um, so it is about this hometown girl who, uh, she has a bakery and, um, there's this guy in the big city who is the CEO of the Morton pumpkin company. Mm -hmm. And that guy happens to be me. And so I was the character Pierce Morton and it is the 200th anniversary of Morton, Illinois, the pumpkin capital of the world. And so um, I tried to come up with an idea to com commemorate this huge um, occasion. And so the idea that my company comes up with is to have a baking competition. And so uh, it turns out that this hometown girl, it's an international baking competition. So we have people from all over the world entering. Mm. They're famous baked goods. And so uh, she decides to enter. I come to the town. We have this encounter. We meet. Um, and then kind of a little love triangle forms because there's another guy who um, is also the hometown 
uh, or is also living in the hometown that she lives in. And so, you know, they have a good friendship and relationship, but he wants it to be more. And then the CEO with lots of money and all of that comes in and he's trying to win her heart as well. And so that's kind of the basic love triangle story. Um, but there's a lot of other stuff going on. One of the other main aspects to the movie is um, this girl's niece comes to stay with her. She's kind of a spoiled brat. And so uh, she comes to stay with her. And really what you see is this amazing transformation that this town, this small town has on everybody. And so it just goes to show the power of community and families and how they really can make a huge impact um, and change somebody's life for the better. That's fantastic. Yeah. I don't know about you, but I want to watch the trailer. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's take a look. Oh, look here. So will you be entering the Great Pumpkin Bake Off? My aunt makes the best pumpkin pie in the world. You could totally win it, Lynn. <sighs> I don't know. They're opening up entries to people all over the world. You're the best baker in the world. Nothing interests you? Nothing in the case. The CEO of Morton Pumpkin Companies is here for a visit. He also happens to be one of the most eligible bachelors in Chicago, Lynn. <laughs> I, I don't think Lynn's looking for romance tonight, May. Well, the dinner wouldn't be complete without your pumpkin pie for dessert. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why you wouldn't sell me those pies. You. Prosecco? Well, for what it's worth, I don't like him either. Come on, Pete. I'm serious. Look, I've wanted to tell you this for a long time. Well, hey, come on in. I can't. I don't bite you. It's not bad. Playing hard to get, huh? I like that. Oh, yeah. Definitely not ready for this. Not a chance. Definitely not ready for this. I love it. It's so cute. But so the, here's the deal with rom coms. We know how, we don't know how they're going to end. We have a pretty good idea how they're going to end. But. I think 90% of the women still want to watch them anyway. Yeah. Like, what is that? Like, what it, what's it like living in the rom-com world when you're making this? Does it feel like that? Does it have that kind of buzz and feel for it? Um, yeah, it does. It's an enjoyable process. You just feel good. <laughs> that was so ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is. It's um it it was honestly a great experience. And um the town that we filmed in, Morton, Illinois, was incredible. Um the people, the town, the community, um, it was just it was one of the best filmmaking experiences I have ever had. And it was because of the community and everybody really getting behind this project and uh, wanting to be a part of it. And um there was just a really great buzz. Uh, within the community and that helped as well because it just felt good it just felt good <laughs> it felt like, like we were living in rom -com it does right you just it feel good just feels what? good yeah. <laughs> and, and then at the very end when it works out you think that's so sweet how yeah. come real life isn't like that I know. <laughs> yeah. And then you have to go back to your normal life. You do. And, you know, and probably break up a sibling fight or something. I yeah, don't know. Of course. I mean, my no, children no never longer, fight. No longer the eligible bachelor, married four girls, you know, mm -hmm. which is life great. It starts too. real quick at uh, the end of the movie for you. It, yeah. <laughs> it, it changed real quick. Yeah. But, but no, Morton, no, Illinois, that's a real town. But your it name. Is. It is a real town. It's a real town, but your last name was Morton? Yes. Yeah, so my so. great grandparents in the movie actually founded the town. And oh. so I'm the great grandson of the founder of Morton, okay. Illinois. So yeah. that's why you're such an eligible bachelor. Oh, yes. The Mortons, you know, they have lots of money. So. They have that strong yeah. bloodline. Yeah. They're like the royalty of the town. Exactly. <laughs> and it is actually the pumpkin capital of the world. Um, real life least, Morton, Illinois. At least that's what they claim. And I'm going to put my stamp of approval on them being the pumpkin capital of the world. There are other places in the United States that claim to be the uh, pumpkin capital of the world, which okay. um, we do which make makes mention them liars, of that. is what I'm hearing. Yes. Mm -hmm. And we make mention of that in a funny way in the movie, in the very okay. opening scene. Um, because they actually did not 
the other two places did not want part to take part in this film at all and they didn't want anything to do with it and so it just so happens morton's like yeah come on in they rolled out the red carpet so we let those other two know <laughs> listen we yeah. took it personal and we're going to tell people about it we snubbed them a little bit you know, <laughs> it's fine briefly, it's, fine. it's all in there. <laughs> It's business and definitely not personal at all. No, 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 no. We'll take <laughs> yeah. But uh, so for this movie, you for the movie premiere, you actually brought your your family with you to it. Yeah. What did they think? Oh, they thought it was the coolest thing ever. Um, yeah, the girls got all dressed up and that was the big thing is the leading up to this, they really wanted to be able to dress up like full dresses. Oh yeah. Gowns. And, um, and so that was kind of the highlight of just getting ready for this big premiere. And, um, we did it at the theater in Morton and, uh, it was huge. Like it sold out. We had like, I think close to 700 people that came. Oh my- Gosh. The whole theater, every single auditorium was sold out. So in six theaters, they were all sold out, uh, or six auditoriums. And so that night, the uh, entire theater, they shut down all the other Hollywood movies, and they were only showing Baking Up Love on six screens. That is and so it was, so it was really a cool, cool experience. And the girls thought it was amazing. Cool. Yeah. And they rolled out the orange carpet, I saw. They did. It, of wow. course, it couldn't be... Um, a red carpet. No, it no. was an orange carpet in honor. GG, of- stay tuned. We will let you know in just a second. Um, but yeah, no, the orange carpet was super clever because of the pumpkin capital, right? You know, yeah, it's the pumpkin. Red. Well, this isn't apples. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. <laughs> Pumpkins. We don't speak of apple pie. Only pumpkin pie. Oh, so there's rules. But I do. I'm gonna. I'll tell you what. <laughs> you leaned in and looked around like you're maybe like, because no secret. <laughs> we are friends and okay. this is some inside information that i yeah. want to release only okay. on maggie rambles thank you i don't like pumpkin pie <gasps> so there was a scene where i have oh. to eat i i don't even know if i should be saying this. oh you better say it now you can't say, keep looking around because somebody <laughs> might hear you this is good <laughs> <laughs> um there was a scene where I have to eat pumpkin pie, mm. but they gave me butterscotch. Oh, so I don't really want to ruin this whole movie going experience. But what you're saying is the whole movie is a sham. It's a giant. No, o- only me eating her pumpkin pie. OK, honestly, though, the butterscotch pie, that's intriguing. Oh, it's so good. And it looks just like pumpkin pie. Okay. But everybody okay. else, listen, everybody else likes pumpkin pie in the movie, so it's good. It's except, fine. For the, except for the writer and director. And that really? is a funny story as to how the movie came about because she hates pumpkin pie as well. But we love Morton, Illinois. Just don't like that. <laughs> yeah, we're going to make a movie about pumpkin pie. Turns out we all hate it. It's yeah. fine. Um, but for real, though, I'm very intrigued about a butter. I don't think I've ever heard of a butterscotch pie. It sounds amazing. Yeah, it literally looks exactly like pumpkin pie which is why we used it because it you can't tell the difference so smart but it hasn't i love how this turned into like a makeshift baking show for right. like 10 minutes we're like actually we're just going to talk know. about food yes <laughs> we, so we are going to transition and i'm going to bake right here today <laughs> uh, but speaking then of all the baking pumpkin. did you actually bake at all for the movie uh no so yeah, you're all business. You can't. Listen, get I have people. Yet. I have people that bake for Obviously. me. Obviously, I mean, come on, CEO yes. of the company. Can't be know, done. I'm not baking a pumpkin pie. It can't be. It's just. It's in unspeakable yeah. to think of such things. Yeah. No. But the lead, the lead character, the lead uh, girl, uh, she did. She did some baking, some on camera baking. For realty or, baking. Well, or at least you know, putting some eggs in the bowl. And, it looks like she's baking. And Jewel, you're probably right. I probably will make a butterscotch pie. I, I honestly, yeah. I don't, listen, I don't really like pie. But oh, you know what? That's funny. See, I don't either. Yeah. Like, give, me, give me some birthday cake, and I'm yes. Good. But yes. pie, nah, I, I'm not big on pie either. I'm glad I'm you not. said that. So it's Sometimes it is feel weird, but mm, I don't like it. What do you do with it? Like, first off, I don't like the crust. It's it's yeah. weird. And then, like, if you can't do a birthday pie, you can't put candles in it. It doesn't work. No, it feels like a cheap substitute. Thank you. Know? Yes, it's also smaller. Like, cakes we, are we tall. We didn't want to go to the trouble of baking a cake. Uh, 
uh, here's a, some crust and we just threw some fruit in it. And yeah, it's just kind of, it's pie. fine. We, mm. Yeah, we had some leftover fruit that was about Thanks to go back. For the <laughs> yeah. But I mean, I do like pumpkin. I just am not a giant really? pie fan. Mm. Not a key line. See, I oh, I see. Look at this. We've got a comment. Yeah, key lime key pie. Lime pie. Mm. pie. Mm. I don't think I've ever had a key lime pie, but That's I still stand by the fact you. that I, I'm not a pie fan. I actually said that out loud once before I thought somebody was like, oh, or we can go to a pie shop. And I was like, ugh, pie's garbage. Like it was one of those things that literally came out of my yeah. mouth before I had pie a moment. Trash. And then I was like, I mean, but we can go if you want. <laughs> and they looked at me and they're like, no, we don't have to go. But I make a really good apple pie. And I'm like, I'm sure you do. I'm sure it's a great pie. I just don't really like them. It's, yeah. they're not, I will eat it, but I will not choose it. I See, I, listen, if there's nothing else there, I'm going to eat it. Because yeah. why, why not? Right. But it, no, I will say there are some pies. I mean, you have like these deluxe pies, like salted caramel cheesecake mopa, mocha. But that's a cheesecake. Mopa. That's no and so I don't know if that really constitutes as a pie when it's done. It's yeah. like a major dessert. But yes. I, I can appreciate that. Mm. It's kind of like, here's how I'll look at it. It's kind of like coffee. Now, okay. you can drink coffee and it's mm -hmm. coffee. Yeah. But when I'm done with my coffee, oh, does it really qualify as coffee anymore? Because I've got so much other stuff in it. You do. I remember a Starbucks trip with you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. And I'm kind of the same way. Like if so, someone handed me a black cup of coffee, I'll be like, it's cool. I'll just take a nap what, later. What, I don't what, want what it. What do you do with it? <laughs> yeah. I, I, I don't know. No. Yeah. So I don't know if everyone needed to know how we felt about dessert and mm -hmm. coffee, but you know now. The I'm more you know. I know. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. So Gigi, you can watch Baking Up Love on Pure Flix October 1st. But before we get further into all of those things, I'm not even sure Jason knows what's coming next. I don't know if he's oh, ever boy. caught one of these shows before. It's game time, guys. All right. Hey. Time to put your thinking hats on. It's game time with Maggie. No cheating now. Maggie Rambles is not responsible for any brain damage while overthinking. Okay, so game time today. <laughs> All right. So here's a fun thing. Before this show, Jason's like, do you know what we're doing? And I'm like, I do. You'll find out. <laughs> and he's like, he didn't bail. So thank right. you. <laughs> so today's game is... Famous music, movie quotes. I'm going to be mm. honest. It's not hard. So okay. I have embarrassed a few people on this. So mm. it'll be fine. Just, you know, don't hate me. We'll start off easy. You ready? May the uh, force be with you. Sure. Am I supposed to vote? You just You tell me what movie it's from. Uh, I, do I got to go specific? There's nine of them. No, no you don't have to. Uh, at least just in the nine. franchise. Uh, Star Wars. Okay. Yeah. There's no place like home. Oh, come on. Wizard of Oz. Dorothy. <laughs> My mom always said life's like a box of chocolates. You never know. Well, I didn't even get it done. I love it. Uh, of course. Um, you're going to need a bigger <laughs> boat. I quit right now. Oh, no. Do See, I this win? is a competition. See, I've done, I'm, I don't do competition games anymore because I'm too competitive. Oh, and so I lost is, almost is this every really time. competition or is this just. No, 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 no. This is just. Can I stump you and make oh, me embarrass you okay. in front of a few people? Let's so. do it. All right. What was the next one? I, There's I, no crying in baseball. Oh, you know, that is something about the baseball movie. <laughs> oh, how would um, you guess? <laughs> no, um, I, I know, but Tom, isn't Tom Hanks in that? Gina Davis. Yep. Um, Tom Hanks even says this. Major League, no, something nope. like that. Um, you know, I know it, but I don't know the title, and uh, oh, I don't know that I've ever seen it, except for clips here and there. You've never watched this whole movie? I don't think I have. <gasps> okay, first can I, wait, wait, wait. Can I phone a friend? No. Gigi. The rules are very strict, Jason. No. <laughs> it's a league of Gigi, their own. I need your help. Comment in the... She knew. She knew. She knew. Speaking of, have you watched Enchanted yet? All right, I no. think we are done with this broadcast. Uh huh. No. He said that was his. That was his homework from a year ago. Yeah, what was that? A year ago. Yeah. yeah. If you build it, he will come. 
Oh, that is Field of Dreams. Mm. Yeah. Just Keep Swimming. Oh, um, which one? Is it Finding Nemo or? Yep, Finding that's Dory? it. Just Keep Swimming. Okay. Yep. Go. Go. Uh, you is kind. You is smart. You is important. Mm. This one I'm going to go with, don't know. Don't have a clue. <laughs> I was really confident with your lip there. It's the help. <laughs> You know, I haven't seen it. Don't know. Okay. Well, that's fair then. Um, but I heard it was a baby. Are we going to go Terminator? <sighs> yeah, we are. Um, you talking to me? Mm. Good fellas? Taxi driver. Taxi driver? Yeah. Ah, wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm not feeling so good. <laughs> Turns out <coughs> I'm too sick to do the show. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Gotta eat some pumpkin pie or something to get over it. No, no. <laughs> no. Wow, so Taxi Driver. Okay. Which yeah. is from, that's from the 70s, right? Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Yes, it is. 76. Good job. Yeah. Wow. Um, oh, what, oh, yeah, right. We never got the answer on that one. What was the, you're going to need a bigger boat? Oh, <sighs> don't know. You don't? No. What is that? I mean, I know the phrase, but I wouldn't be able to connect it to a movie. Really? No. Um, that's Jaws. Oh. And what's funny. even funnier is that really? it was a totally yeah. improv line. And really? it seemed like synonymous and with the movie. I think it was right before COVID. I actually went, they re-released it in the theater, like at our theater here. And so I went to see it, my wife and I. And it was cool to see it on the big screen. But clearly it did not obviously stick. I wasn't paying attention to it. <laughs> thinking, let me tuck this away for Maggie Ramble. For later when someone tries to embarrass me. Yeah. Um, yeah. okay. We'll do two more. All right. Hit me. Inconceivable. Princess Bride? That's correct. Yes. And then on. you Good gotta job. get this one. This one's too easy. You had me at hello. Oh, um, Jack Nicholson, as good as it gets. Uh, Jerry Maguire. Yeah, that's yeah, it. That's not, it. I, I mean, go the road, it was yeah. like not your first go guess. Um, Tom, yeah, Tom, go through all this stuff, you know. Yeah, but. you just started listing movies until right. one finally hit. Just start throwing them out there. You're just gonna do it. Throw them all out well, there. Okay, so keep score. I don't keep score. No, I don't because it frustrates me when I lose. So I don't keep score. For other people mm. either. I'm over mm. it. I just, I can't. I don't have it in me. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, Jason, thanks for coming on and for, for having fun with us today. Oh, um, thanks for having me. Yeah. If you don't know who he is yet, trust me, you will, because he's working constantly on all of these different things. Like he said, he has the mutt still pitching and baking up love premieres October 1st on pure flicks. So make sure that you check it out there to all of your friends it's the good movie to get you in into the Christmas spirit. But Thanksgiving first, you know, like at Christmas, you watch all the Hallmark movies and you're like, oh, it's so cute while you're baking. Well, this is what you can watch while you're baking for Thanksgiving. So Baking Up Love on Pure Flix, October 1st. If you like it, tell other people and then check out Jason on social media because he's got a lot going on. Until next time, everyone, thanks for tuning in. Love one another. Make it weird.